I'm Rob Stewart and I love food. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been fascinated by food. The taste, the textures, the smells, everything about it. I was this chubby little kid running around, always trying to taste everything. And that carried right on through my teenage years and my university years. I was working in restaurants and basically I was working just for the food that I was about to eat. And ever since then, I've dedicated my life to eating and food and everything about food. So here we are in the inner harbor of Victoria, British Columbia. And we're going to check out the best fish and chips place around. Redfish, Bluefish. Let's check it out. Here we are at Redfish, Bluefish. Now this place is really unique. So what they did here is they, they took one of those uh, shipping containers that you see on those big barges that go overseas and they dropped it here right on the, the dock in the inner harbor in Victoria, British Columbia. Cut a couple holes in it, threw some kitchen equipment in there, and there you go, West Coast fast food restaurant. Okay, here we are with Canal. He's the head chef at Redfish Bluefish. And we're gonna do one of their signature dishes. It's a tuna tuck taco. We are. Let's get started here. <laughs> Grab a couple of nice hunks of albacore tuna. Anchovy fed, super fatty and delicious. Looks so good. Coleslaw on there. It's got pumpkin seeds and the sesame oil. The taco in essence is like a combination of a taco and like a Japanese style hand roll. Stuff, you know? How much of a difference does it make to you by actually getting to the source of all the food? Oh, it makes a huge difference. Knowing where it comes from and, and supporting local farmers. <coughs> Not many places can really say that. You know, you say, where the food, where's the food from? And it's awesome. What's the biggest challenge of working in a, like a little combined space? Like like people just... come and film me. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I see, yeah. You Happens know, a lot? It works, works pretty well. We have our physicians. And, Trying to stay out of each other's way. Yeah. yeah. It works pretty well. It's got a beautiful flavor. It's kind of like the ribeye steak of the sea, if you ask me. Yeah, man, there's two of them. Awesome. I'm going to try a bite right here. Is that cool? Yeah, for sure, man. Oh, yeah. Mm. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, man. Awesome. Thanks, man. Good to meet you. you too. Cheers. That's what I'm talking about. So here we are with uh, Mike Han. He's a local musician in uh, in Victoria here, and he's going to show us how to really dress up this taco. Well, I eat these things probably four times a week. <laughs> so what I like to you do can is... Can tell? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I like to just unwrap it and throw some of this homemade uh, hot sauce in there. Pretty much. I'm going to give that a shot. Did that put too much on? I'd say you, you nailed it first no, I'm, time. I'm pretty good, yeah. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. I like to say. Tell me what you think of that. Mm. Really good. Pretty nice, eh? You can Sloppy. see why I eat it so much. Yeah, that's true. This is West Coast fast food right here. Here we go. So here we are with Emily. She is. One of the, yeah, she's one of the employees. <laughs> she was employee of the month at uh, Redfish Bluefish, uh, four times standing. Uh, I wish we had employee of the month. Does it make yeah. a difference to you with the, the sustainable practices? Oh, yeah, totally. Like, well, I mean, yeah. it's West Coast, right? I mean, that's... Well, especially with seafood, and there's there's so much happening about unsustainable seafood. Give me, a, a like, a dirty little secret about Redfish Bluefish. Well, the <laughs> bosses are right there. <laughs> okay, just, no, no one will even know. No. we got Glenn and Christine here. Where are you guys from? We're from Pincher Creek, Alberta. Pincher Creek. We heard about this place and absolutely it, uh, it stood up. It was definitely worth it. What are the, what are the things? What did you order? We had the um, the halibut fish and chips and <laughs> the taconi. taconi. Thanks. Oh, yeah, fish and chips time. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go eat these up. That is seriously the best piece of fish and chips I've ever had. Okay, first of all, I'm a French fry guy. And you see that any place that advertises that they use Kennebec potatoes, you know they're serious about their fries, and these are delicious. They have a, this sweet red curry sauce, which is so delicious. A little bit of heat, still got that nice saltiness, and has that nice texture like ketchup, but so much more flavor. When you're looking for a restaurant in a new city, don't just go to the guidebooks for all your advice. Go where the locals go and you just might find that special little gem like Redfish Bluefish in Victoria, BC. It's for the love of the food. 